good morning everybody um i just wanted to uh, make this video um if you're new to my channel i am 14 weeks pregnant with baby number five um <clears throat> and so we went through an ordeal last night um we did have to end we ended up going to the emergency room because I'm on my way. I just got a whole bunch of lab work done. Last night at the ER, they completely messed me up. I had an appointment with my maternal fetal medicine doctor for my diabetes and of course my advanced maternal age. <clears throat> and so they did a sonogram. Baby looks good. He's kicking and punching and turning and oh, he's very, very, very active. Yeah, so yesterday I decided to go run some errands. I went to HEB. I didn't do anything out of the ordinary um, and so I get home and I ended up doing my finishing my errands like around 11 I get home I start lunch for the kids when they get home um, I put the groceries away I really haven't been able to get like really really into cleaning or anything because um, I normally have like I get tired real easily well it's been getting worse like my fatigue has been getting a lot worse and like around two o'clock <clears throat> I laid down I, I was sitting with baby because she fell asleep and then I got up I put her down and all of a sudden I just my back was I was in so much pain I ended up um, texting Randy and he's like what do you want to do I'm like I don't know like it's really bad like it, it was like from my lower back radiating to my like my the front even down my legs like it was throbbing immediately I freak out and I'm like oh my god I'm having cramps what if something's wrong of course there was no bleeding and so what I do is I start drinking a whole bunch of water I, I think okay I'm dehydrated and they're just really bad cramps like bad cramps and um not even like they weren't even that bad when I had my c-section I mean this was worse I'm not cut pain but like cramping it was really really bad and so I'm I'm literally like Lily's asleep I'm laying next to her I'm crying and I'm texting Randy and he's like um I'll leave work and I'm like no 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 you know that's the last thing I want him to do I'm, I'm just gonna lay down for like a couple of hours I'm drinking a lot of water I'm on my left side I took some Tylenol let me just relax and maybe it's just because I was up all day like I don't know so he gets home I actually called my mom to pick up the kids because I, there was no way I was going to be able to drive or even carry Lily. The good thing is with her, I put some cartoons on, I put the toys on the bed, and she'll stay there for a good while. And I was just entertaining her. I'll give her whatever she wants just so she doesn't have to have me carry her. And she did really good. It was already, the pain started at 2. It was like, okay, my mom picks up the kids. It was around 5 o'clock. Randy calls me. I'm out already. I'm going to pick up the kids and then go home. Good thing I had made lunch early well i made i was gonna make tacos so i made the meat i did the bean well i mashed the beans all he needed to do was cut up the lettuce and the tomato and slice the well the queso fresco and so good thing i did that and so then he gets home and by that time the Tylenol did nothing and he's like put the heating pad on so he got there he massaged me a little bit put the heating pad on me and that seemed to have helped but it was still it helped my back, but I could feel the cramps like coming around towards the front. And that really got me worried. Like, I'm like, oh my God, something's happening. It's getting worse. Like I was freaking out, especially with my history. So I get up, he was doing the tortillas, well, warming up the tortillas or whatever. And I'm like, I need to eat because we need to go to the hospital. And he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I am in a lot of pain. Like, I, this needs to be looked at. Like, this is not normal. <clears throat> so I made myself a couple of tacos because at the hospital, you'll be there for hours and hours and hours. And he's like, okay, well, then you eat. And he, he had Lily while he was doing that. And, I, and he's like, we'll eat and then we'll leave. I'm like, no, we have to eat. So he ate. By that time, I got myself ready. I Whatever. We drop off Lily at my mom's like around 6 o'clock. We get to the hospital and 
they draw my blood they did a sonogram which was extremely painful because he will put he was pushing so hard on my c-section like literally i was shaking and sweating of pain like it was awful and so they tell me you know brandy's looking at the sonogram he's like baby's fine it's, he's moving and everything that was my concern like is baby okay i just thought the worst and then finally oh my god i was here and i could have gone a long time ago and then finally um you know he's like in the back telling me like okay baby's fine okay so then i immediately because i've had i've always suffered from vitamin d deficiency and the last time i had it we were living in san antonio and I ended up in the hospital twice and we were seeing a fertility doctor over there and they had checked my 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 vitamin D at the fertility doctor and he's like you know it's a little low we're gonna put you on the five no the 50,000 milligrams once once a week for eight weeks or something like a therapy I just know that whenever I have like this pain this severe back pain I know it's my vitamin D so I tell that to the hospital and they're like, well, we're not a lab. We're just going to make sure baby's okay and that you're not like, you know, anything with the baby. And then we'll send you home and your primary care physician can handle that. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So then it took around midnight, I want to say, or before, a little bit before midnight. We were finally discharged. Now my C-section hurt and my back still hurt. But at least I had peace of mind that the baby was fine. And then this morning I had my appointment with my maternal fetal, fetal medicine doctor. And I love that doctor. It's at the Driscoll Children's Hospital. They're like amazing there. So we get there. I, before I even get there, I call my OB and they tell me, no, the doctor doesn't want you supplementing with anything but your prenatals. And I'm like, okay, you don't understand. I can't just be taking 400 milligrams a day, like at least 2000 a day because I have I'm I'm so low I at least need to do the, the fifty thousand once a week or two thousand a day. And she's like, you know what? I tell him the whole story. Let me talk to the doctor and I'll call you back. He's probably gonna want you to come in. They call me back and they're like, he said that go ahead and take uh over the counter um vitamin D supplements. And I'm like, okay, like fine. So then I get to my maternal fetal doctor and and I'm I can walk. It's just I'm walking like really slow but i can't bend down like i can't like bend my back so and the doctor's like you know what i'm gonna send you to the lab so they can we i'm gonna check your vitamin d because if it is that it can affect other things you know it could affect the, ba the baby's um spinal cord like rickets or something and he's like that's something that you know we need to know we need to know if you're okay on and i was like oh my god that's like perfect so he also wants to do, which I did this with, with Lily. Uh, they do a 24 hour protein, total protein and creatine count, or I don't know what it's called. Um, I forgot, I don't know if I have my lab thing there, but I already went to the lab and they give you this stupid truck, this thing. You literally have to collect your urine for 24 hours and keep it cold which is really disgusting because i only have well like everybody i don't have a freezer and i can't freeze it it has to be cold in the fridge so for 24 hours i have to collect my urine fun and then keep it in my fridge which is going to be disgusting but i have to do it because how else do i do it and they did my vitamin d poked me again which at the hospital they poked me twice to start an IV and like that's like the worst thing for me give me an epidural give me a c-section but the IV is like oh my gosh it hurts me so much that was what happened yesterday so the next 24 hours are gonna be fun with my whole urine collection and then the, the kids are gonna see this big orange thing in there and be like what in the world is this and they'll freak out if I tell them what it is, but I have to tell them because what if they open it? Oh my gosh. So that's gonna be fun. So yeah, I just wanted to share my little story of what happened yesterday. I'm still having a lot of pain. Tylenol, I'm taking a thousand milligrams of extra strength Tylenol. It does not help, so I stopped taking it. I'm going to take a supplement at my mom's house no matter what because immediately it works immediate on me. And it's funny because with vitamin D, I have a friend also from San Antonio that after I went through the whole ordeal with my back, is my mom not there? 
with my back she was having a lot of jaw pain and we used to work for an oral surgeon she was having a lot like severe jaw pain it was hurting hurting her she goes to the doctor gets like a blood count and all that stuff and orders a vitamin d count and she also had it low and so whenever her she's having major jaw pain her vitamin d is low and mine it affects my back and the girl that did my sonogram today at driscoll at the maternal fetal doctor she was saying her daughter is 17 and she is suffers from low vitamin d and her symptom i guess it's different for everybody her symptom is stomach problems she's like as soon as she it like it, it'll start like oh you know i ate something and it upsets my stomach but then it continues she'll know that her vitamin d is low she'll have it checked um and sure enough it's low so she'll start on a supplement and i was like that is so so funny be weird how it affects everybody differently um my doctor there was telling me that it can even cause severe fatigue which is what i've been having like i guess that's how it started and that was my sign and then it just goes to my back because i have been so tired like not e i've never been this tired and he says i'm more than sure it's that and it could also lead to depression and I and he's like yo yeah that that can be signs too and i'm like oh my gosh it can um like it, vitamin d is so much like i didn't know this so i bet you it's my vitamin d I will get the results in a couple of days. Hopefully by then I've already been on this, but they think that they're gonna probably start me on the 50,000 units once a week for eight weeks. So anyways, I just wanted to like kind of update you guys on where I'm at right now. And um, I'm so happy that I'll be able to know like what's going on, especially if that's gonna help me with my tiredness because <gasps> I need energy. Um, the next time I go to my maternal fetal medicine doctor is when I turn 20 weeks. Ooh, so soon. They'll do my 20-week anatomy scan. Before then, once they get the results from the lab and I'm from this count, um, they're going to call in if they if I'm going to start on metformin. Or, oh, yeah, and um, how many milligrams. And they'll call me in if I need the supplement for my vitamin D. Everybody take a shot every time I say vitamin D anyway so bye guys we'll see you in the next video uh, I still have a lot of that tape but I didn't take it off last night and this morning I was just like whatever so yeah we'll see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to my channel and everybody have a great day love you guys bye